real quick. Hang on, people. We're adjusting the camera. That'll work. A little bit more. There we go. Ugh. Push that back. If anybody's watching, I'm five minutes early. That's okay. Just waiting to, because I said 12, get some people in here. Howdy, everyone. Hope you guys are having a good Saturday. <clears throat> Walt is in here. Thank you for coming in, Walt. I appreciate you. I have nothing in beard as of this moment. I hopped in the shower. I just got out of the shower about 30 minutes ago. I didn't put anything in my beard because I want to smell just these and get them. You guys, a first impression for real. No interruptions. Nothing like that. Apologize for the camera if it doesn't focus. Keep, you guys know I'm not technological smart. So if I pull in, the focus may not work. Sorry. Hope you guys are having a good Saturday so far. Today, here at the at the farm, we are going to celebrate Valentine's Day with with the husband, with the wife, and the husband, of course, and my in laws. We're all going to go out to dinner here, and where we're going, it closes early, so that's why we're doing this kind of early. And if you watched my live stream on Instagram two days ago, I had said that I'm going to do. Southern Beer Company's review next. And I want to clarify, just to clarify, Gary and Walt from Alley Cat Beer Company are going to be in the hot seat here in just a few days. Gary had politely, respectively asked me. He wanted to get my first impressions since this kind of is Alley Cat's week of being highlighted here on my platforms. And I, th I think that's fair. I'm still going to do the Southern Beer Co. review before Alley Cat, because I do first come, first serve. So just to clarify, we're just going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys my first impressions, and then this box is going to be closed back up for a week or two, and we're going to go back to Southern Beer Co. Just to clarify that to my viewers. So just they'll say, what happened to that one? Because some people do that. We're just opening up Alley Cat today and then putting it back to the side then we'll go back to the original plan. Okay? Okay. All right. So it's 1157. Let me get a glass of water or drink of water. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Let's move this actually here. Right in the way. All right. Yesterday in the mail, I received. It's probably backwards to you guys. The famous... Alley Cat Beer. That's upside down. Alley Cat Beer Company. Just to clarify, I purchased these myself. This is not a sponsored or paid review and live on. It's this is all on me for you smart asses who need to know that. Okay, so we're opening it up. Thank you to Gary from Alley Cat for. Fulfilling my order. Okay. First impression. Open it up. There we go. The packing slip will go to the side. This is the... Okay. Alley Cat. I know the cat's name is Ruckus. I, I remember that. Hang on a second. Let me move my mouse. Okay. Backwards to you guys. Apologize. You are a badass. 
Thank you for trusting Alley Cat Beer Company with your beard and grooming needs. Like you, we grind every day to bring our best. Our products are designed for everyone. We use natural, organic, and zero animal byproducts. There's a discount code, which I will not give out on camera. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our online radio station, Alley Cat Radio, on the station head app. Alley Cat Walt, uh, I I need to talk to you off camera. I want to get get on that, the, the radio station. I've got the app. I'm not te technological smart, so we'll talk. Well, not today. We'll probably talk tomorrow. Uh, I want to get on. I want to listen to it. I'm, I'm curious, as I've heard some of the clips from... Uh, Bearded Ambitions channel last Saturday. I, I dig. I, I like punk rock. I'm not as big as fan as you guys are, but I like to listen to it. Okay, fortune cookies. Okay, thank you. That's a nice touch. That's different. That's that's different as as compared to the candy. Oh, I I, I have to clarify. I have to PayPal the big timers. They. They were very nice to. I got no. I got to uh, experience something that you guys hadn't hadn't recently. I got to. I got to experience it. I felt special. Thank you guys. PayPal's in the mail. Okay, now this is a unique touch. Actually, it's not unique. I think it's awesome. Gary has included the restrictor, dropper topper, inhibitor. Reducer. They have all different kinds of names. So this little this little thing here, in case you're wondering what it is, this is the thing that uh, this is the thing you put in your beard oil, so it just a drop will come out and it doesn't pour all out. That's what these are for. Okay, I like these better than the dropper toppers. I've and I've, I've been feeling that way for about a year now. I don't I I don't dislike the dropper topper anymore. I just like these more. I just like them. Now, I've seen pictures of this. I've seen pictures of this logo. It's all over social media. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm saying it live. I'm saying it on camera. And I don't care if anybody gets mad. Just say, just stating a point or my opinion. This is the best looking logo in the bearding game today. There is so much detail in this. Because I overheard Gary in a live stream. He was saying how he was having trouble getting this for hats made. And I know why. Me playing music, I know a good bit about merchandise and stuff. For an embroider company, this is hard for them to match almost 100% because of all the different colors and shades. If this is ever made into, if this is ever made into um, embroidery, like on a hat, I'm buying it for the simple fact I want to see how this would turn out. This is the most detailed and best looking logo in the bearding game today. He, Gary's stepping his game up right there. In, in presentation alone, just for that picture, hell yeah. So I I I have a actually I've got more than what I expected here. I I don't I I ordered, let me get it right here. I ordered Scumbag Joe Hooligan Combo. The uh, combo. I only got one butter because I, di I didn't want to get like everything. No, no offense. I just I didn't want to spend. I didn't. I couldn't afford everything. So, so I got Scumbag Joe oil, Hooligan Combo, 1981 oil, and the Drift shower products. Okay. All right. Okay. That is etched on there. I'm looking at the uh, shampoo or daily beard wash, excuse me, and conditioner. Got them both here, and they're etched in on the bottle. This isn't a this isn't a sticker. That's badass. That is really badass. Manufactured and distributed by Alley Cat Beard Co. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me see. There's a seal. There's a seal. Okay. 
I'm just going to open up the shampoo because I'll, or the, the, the wash, I mean, I'll be using that every day. Uh, I, to, to clarify, I honestly don't use beer conditioner every single day anymore. I use it about once a week, maybe twice, depending on how, how my beard is feeling. But for the most part, I don't use a lot of conditioner like I used to. So let's get to the wash. I know a lot of people that I've talked to, they've been, they've been waiting to see my my response to that to this product alone. Okay, I'm getting the scent here. I'm pour just a little drop right there. That's all I need right there. Close it back up. And I and I know from experience with other companies' products. You have to keep them upside down for the most part, because if not, they will all run out. Okay. Okay, for scent-wise, all right. I know I, I know a lot. I know certain reviewers like to run their, their mouth, and they like to say that you shouldn't talk about other companies when you're spotlighting one, this company rebranded. So I'm allowed to do that. Okay. So just chill out. Gary, when he was the owner, when he had Chesapeake beer company, Oh, I did. I said it. I did. I don't care. He had his beer conditioner, the co-man co-wash. This scent, I, I think it's the same scent. You got it. Now you got to remember guys, I've only, this is my first time smelling this in a wash. Yeah, this, this actually, this is, I think it's the exact same scent. Uh, keep in mind, I haven't smelled the conditioner. I want to keep this closed up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that closed up for now. But I think, I think this is, if not the exact, it is pretty damn close to the Driftwood sea salt from the Co-Man Co-Wash. It's pretty damn close, I'll say. Which I still say, Gary nailed it when he got the the that condi that beer conditioner. Is the same scent? Okay, it probably just smells different because it's in a wash. That's probably what I'm. You know what? I'll go ahead and open it up just to clarify. I'll be able to tell you right from as soon as I smell this. Yeah, it's the exact same. Yeah, it's a completely different scent because I've never smelled it in a wash. But in the conditioner, it's the exact same. Yeah, okay, okay. Just to clarify that, all right. And it's an eight ounce bottle. And oh, where's the price? Okay, there, there are 20. Let me get it right. All right, the wash is $21.98. The conditioner is $19.98. So they're right around 20 22 dollars okay to me in this day and age like i said if you watch my video that i or you it's not out yet in this day and age the price of everything is going up it just is again i know people watch this in the future and stuff as of the recording of this video this is not expensive it's pretty much almost standard now you're going to pay anywhere from 15 to 20, 20 some dollars for a one ounce bottle of oil, between 20 and 25 dollars for a shower product for your beard. That's just how they are. Okay. So don't complain about it. Yeah. I like the scent. And this is a daily beard wash. Okay. I'll put it to the test. Now, what, now this is the, I got, I'll go ahead because this is not bubble wrapped, the beard butter. Hooligan. Dark cherry double tobacco, two and a half ounces. This was like 20, 22 bucks. Yeah, 20, okay, $22.98. This is not expensive at all. Like I said, I've I've paid $25 to $30 before for a tub and they're 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 smaller. So this is not an expensive price at all. All right, let me see. The labeling on it is nice. I see the punk rock underlay in the background there that's cool ingredients shea butter muru butter takuma butter black seed oil meadow foam seed oil omla oil and proprietary fragrance blends oh oh okay this is a joke this is a joke as i'm as i'm being sarcastic you don't want anybody to know what's in there for the scent right 
I'm just hypothetical, sarcastically joking. Okay. Okay, this is sealed. Where's the knife? All right. I'm sorry I'm not keeping up with the comments, guys. Uh, all my all my mechanics in there. You have my number if I need to address something or anything. Appreciate Joey Hookham and the Shark for being in here. Always having my back. Love you both. In case you don't know, mechanics are my moderators. That's what I call them. My wrenchmen. Yeah, that's what they are. All right, this is the first scent that I'm smelling of Alley Cat Beer Company. All right, Hooligan. Okay. All right. Okay. This is this one's going to be this one I think I'm going to throw people for a loop. Cuz the first thing I smell is the cherry. This is not a negative comment what I'm about to say. Just my first impression. I smell a cherry bottle cap. Bottle caps. Ca uh, yeah, piece of candy. I smell a cherry bottle cap candy. Piece of candy. They are one of my all-time, that is one of my all-time favorite candies ever. I have boxes of them over there. I like it already just because it, it's reminded me of that right from the get-go. Hey, man, Andy's in here. Okay. This is a poured butter. It's thick. I don't want to I don't want to put anything in. Just put it on my finger. Oh, okay. All right, there's two different types of tobacco in here. I uh yeah, it says double. I get a spicy tobacco and I get the leaf. I get a combination of both. This almost is close to me to a cherry Dr. Pepper. Pretty damn close. That's good. That's just in, in the butter scent. I know it might be a little different in the oil. That's really good. I'm glad I got that in the butter. Like I said, I only wanted to get one. Okay, I, I see a lot more to... All right, I ordered three bottles of oil. I have six here. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate it, man. I really do. Thank you very much. I don't know what all these are yet. I'm trying to find the... I'm trying to find the match. All right, here it is. Okay. That's my favorite tobacco scent far. Okay. All right. Hooligan. Oh, I didn't I didn't finish. This is all black. Just I didn't say that. Hooligan. Does it does it uh Oh, it focused. Cool. Hooligan, dark cherry, double tobacco. Ingredients. As I'm watching this, I'm playing Revenge on 64. Dude, that is probably one of the best wrestling games ever made. That game was so much fun. Awesome, man. Squalene oil. Okay, I've heard of that one before. Sour sop oil. I don't know what the hell that is. Yangu oil, shea nut oil, percoxy oil, pecky oil, oil, subaki oil, black seed oil, and a proprietary fragrance blend. Okay, so these are oils I have never heard of. That's all right. Okay, uh, got to be careful because I, I I'm just now thinking of this. When you get your product, there's no inhibitor or reducer in here, so it's going to pour out seal on it okay everybody keep that in mind it will all pour out yeah okay to me this this is exactly what i thought this almost smells like a like a dr pepper cherry soda that's where i got the bottle cap uh idea from but i also smell the tobacco as well yeah I like that already. That one, mm, 
That's awesome. That is really, 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 really good. I like that. I didn't, and like I said, I have. You're getting my first impression from the get go. Like I, I did. Uh, this is new to me. Really good job, Gary. Hooligan, hell yeah. I like that already. Second one, Moon Stompers, a stomped forest apples. Okay. All right. This one, the seal's not cooperating the greatest. All right, that's okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. All right. This. Sorry, I'm getting comfy, guys. <laughs> this. Fresh apple. This isn't some fake apple. Like a like some like an artificial candle apple. This is fresh. There's so there's other things in here, I think. I just don't know what it is off the top of my head. That is, that's fresh right there. That's a keeper too. Fresh apple right there. That might be the best apple scent I've smelled in a long time. Mm, not bad at all. Oh, for all you, for all you swag guys wearing the hate breed under the knife Dixon hoodie, which in case you're wondering, they have them on sale or they're on, they have them available right now on the Dixon website. They, they had their... Fresh Fine Friday yesterday. So if you were wanting this, they have them on, on the site. Yeah, I keep up with that stuff. Especially if it's hate breed. Van Winkle. Iced out vanilla mint. All right, I already know what that's about. I, I can already see that. That's a take on vanilla ice. And Gary sending me a message. Gary says he's watching. Okay, I, I didn't. he didn't respond. I was asking to see if I was flying solo with this one or not, but I'm sure he can hear that now. <laughs> Iced out vanilla. This is a take on vanilla ice. I I, I know that already because I kind of figured that real quick. Vanilla Van Winkle. Yeah, that makes sense. This is a, a vanilla ice reference. Okay. If you don't know who that is, we're not friends. I don't care what you say. Okay, I okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a drop of that on my fingertip. Some wood scent in it to help. Okay, I knew there was woods of some sort. Walt, I just didn't say it out loud. Yeah, I figured it was like a woodsy type of apple scent. I like that one. I like it. Oh yeah, that that's gonna be good right there. Yeah, uh, a peppermint vanilla is great for the winter. I, I will tell you that it, it's just very very cool and refreshing. I uh, I like that I like that 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 sensation in the wintertime, especially if if it's really cold outside and there's snow, makes it even better. Oh no, it's no big deal, Walton or a uh, uh, Gary. No, no big deal. I moved it to noon because I found out that we have to leave early. It was my mistake, so I apologize. I still. I wanted to do this for you. You know I love you, man. So I wanted to at least give you the video you deserve. So that's why I, that's sorry for pushing it up two hours. But I found out last night, oh, we're leaving early. Yeah, that's good. The pepperminty, almost like a peppermint schnapps. Tell them, Eric, Texas bearded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a, I like that. that. That's good. That's a good one. Number four. Scumbag Joe. Okay. Scumbag Joe. Belgian Barbershop. Okay. Chicken it up while it's still sealed. <laughs> I really am liking the the frosted black glass. I like that. That's really nice. All right. 
I have smelled something similar before. Okay. This is definitely like an aftershave barbershop to me. It's not full-on talcum powder. That's okay if people make that. You know, we all have smelled the talcum powder because we've all gone to a barbershop in one time in our life. We all have. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like the shaving cream, the spices, and the aftershave type, which, which that's what this is. I do smell leather. So to me, my first impression when I smell this, not to throw anybody off or no negative, this is almost like a cologne, like a manly cologne, but it's not. It, it just has kind of reminds you of that. Yeah, this is I, I do smell leather in it. I do. Like a like a floor leather. I can see a punk rocker wearing this. Because not all punk rockers um have a beard. They do shave and they throw some aftershave or of some sort on them. The leather was changed since I made that batch you have. Okay, that's 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 no big that's that's cool. It's good. I like it. I do like it. I got to wear it. Now, you got to remember, guys, these are first impressions. And I'm sure they're going to open up and I'm going to smell all different kinds of things. That's good. Yeah, it, it almost reminds me of, 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 I guess you could call it a, a, a uh, I guess you could call it a almost cologne-like scent. That's okay. I, I still like it. It's good. 1981. So next one. Okay. 1981. A socially distorted cologne. Yeah, I had, I wanted to get this because I was born in 1981. So that's why I got this one. <laughs> so I felt like I kind of had to get this one. The seals are on here really good, I will say. Great job. With sealing these, Gary, there you did. You're, you're sealing them very well. I forgot to shake it up. All right. Oh, that's different. Okay. Look at the bottom of that bottle. December 23rd, 2021. Okay. Okay, I see it. it says di born on date 12-23-21. Okay. How they have a born on date. All right. Okay. I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. This is Gary's take on Ralph Lauren Polo Red. This does not smell exactly like it. This is different. You put a twist on this. I like that. I like Polo Red. I do. I'm not. I'm not one who's ever bought a bottle of Polo Red. I've always just worn the. Some scent doesn't have. Because those, were from batches from testing. Oh, some of these scents don't have it because they were test. They were still in the testing stage. Oh, that's a, that's no problem. Yeah, 1981, is a cologne scent to me. It smells like Ralph Lauren Polo Red, but there's a twist on it. It's like a, a little extra sweet and earthy tone to it. That's what I'm getting. That's really, that's unique. That's good. I like it. We got another one in here. Retro. Okay. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is one that carried over from the previous company.
Retro. Warm vanilla, oud, and tonka bean. All right. That one come out pretty good. Oh, oh, whoa. There's honey in here. I can smell that right from the beginning. I smell vanilla and honey. The oud is in the back. The oud, I smell it right from, it's in the back of the scent. The vanilla and honey are right up front. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. It It's almost, it, it's, I know it's not in here, but it's almost close to a maple syrup. Sweet. Honey. Yeah, it, it's, that's good. That's really, that's really, really good. Okay. All right. So I got three extra scents that I did not know that I was receiving today. All right. We're going to move the box over here to move my seat. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go through these again and put my dropper toppers in. Corey from Weatherbeard's in here. Hey, man. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. I like retro. And I can already tell that that one's pretty sweet. I'm not. I'm not saying I don't like it or won't like it. That one is definitely on the sweeter side. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Retro is crazy good at nighttime when I actually get to sleep. Oh, is that Daniel the Bearded Apprentice in here? Oh, if that's, that's awesome. Thank, thanks for coming in, man. That one opens up differently than out of the bottle. Okay. I'll remember that, Corey. Thank you. I'll remember that. Okay. Retro. That's a sweet, sweet one. Okay. Ron from Deliberately Bearded is in here. He just did a video review of Alley Cat. I watched it. I, I was messaging him yesterday. Go watch his video. He did a really good review of this company. He did. He got the... Um, release box so he got everything that's a hell of a haul, haul he got nice scumbag joe yeah yeah that's definitely a play on a barber shop scent with some wood of some sort and some leather in there i like it i do like it if i didn't like it i'd say it on camera the leather's a little the leather i will say is a little strong that's okay for all you leatherheads out there, I'm sure you're watching. You got I'm not the biggest leatherhead. But still good. Robert Van Winkle. Vanilla ices, vanilla and peppermint. See that that's mm, that is a combination that should be good. That's good forever. The fun the the per, there, there's one thing if I was to make this this type of scent. And this is a hard one to do. This would be a hard thing I would do, or I'd want to do. Add some kind of a spice to it. Not necessarily black pepper, but something that's going to stand out. My only question and problem, I wouldn't know what spice to put in here other than black pepper. How long does that apple in the moon? I have no idea, Eric. These are first impressions. I, I have no answer. You'd have to ask. Uh, deliberately bearded, Ron, maybe uh, Alley Cat, Walt, or Gary, the owner of the company. I don't know yet. The, but yeah, this is a really good balance of peppermint and vanilla. This the, Neither one of them are stronger than the other. That's like right down the middle. I like that one, Gary. Moon Stompers, a woodsy style, uh, forest apple. That is a really crisp and cl clear, clean, clear, clean apple scent that's really good you can mix that van winkle with so many things and make it smell great yeah i can see that Corey from uh, weatherbeard really likes that one that's cool mm, yeah that is a really really fresh apple damn that one there they all are they're surprising me very much Hooligan. Mm. I remember uh metal metal uh that metal weird guy. 
uh, Stephen, he 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 messaged me, and, he, and a lot of you guys were telling me, I'm gonna like Hooligan. You got to get Hooligan. Well, I can't lie, that's the first one I put in my cart. That is, I was like, I got to have Hooligan. If it's tobacco, you guys know I got to try it. Hmm. I like I like Hooligan. I really do like that one. In 1981, a socially distorted cologne. See that? See that? That makes perfect sense. The 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 that right there. Such such negativity when people talk about uh, these uh, these scents and stuff. That should that should tell you right there. It's a socially distorted cologne. Okay, so then that makes me think. There's a cologne with a twist of some sort in it. Duh, moron. Mmm, damn. Yes, it does smell like Ralph Lauren Polo Red with some other stuff mixed in it. I'm getting that right off the bat, but I like it. The hooligan butter. Damn. Oh, mmm. This one's going to be tough to beat. Just my first impression. First impression of Hooligan. That one, I think, honestly, I'm thinking I'm going to be liking, I can't put them in any order, you know, because I haven't worn them. But right now, Hooligan is at the top. Then I got to say it's Moon Stompers. I'm, I'm, I'm look, this is tough. Um, then I'm going to go with Van Winkle. Polo red cream, sugar, and oud. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I couldn't remember what it is. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it smells great. Okay. It's a, it's a sweet polo red with a little bit of a wood to it. Okay. Back to what I was saying. So right now, first impressions. I'm thinking the hooligan is number one. Moon Stompers or Van, excuse me, or Van Winkle. That's two and three, and I could flip flop that for sure. I'm putting 1981 right in the middle because I I do like the set. I do. It may go up, but I don't think it's going down. Number five right now is Scumbag Joe. And number six right now is retro. That would be on oh, my first impression. Not so, and this may change when I wear them. Retro smells good, but it is very sweet. Not saying I don't like sweet. It's 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 strong out of the bottle. That's okay. Scumbag Joe, I gotta wear it. Like I said, I have to wear it. So with that being said. I'm putting it in the back because I'm not the biggest leather fan. It may change. 1981, right in the middle. I love cologne scents. I love Polo Red. This is a different twist on it, so I'm putting it directly in the middle. Van Winkle, it's wintertime. It's cool and cold outside. This is refreshing. Plus, it'll help me sleep at night. Peppermint will open up my nose. You'd like Fizz 182. I didn't get that one. Apologize. I didn't I didn't get that one. I'm not the biggest peach fan, but I should have I should have gotten it just to try it. Moon Stompers. Super duper fresh. I have to wear that one too, Scott. The leather tones down and beard. Yeah, okay. Super duper fresh apple scent. I know there's wood in it. I, I know that. It just I know it'll open up when I wear it. Hooligan. Damn. That wow. I like that. And these, I will put to the test. I will put these to the test. I'm going to clarify that I'm going to be using these strictly when I review them. I'm going to use these. I'm going to try this to where I use the, the beard wash daily for seven days. Then I'm going to go to my normal beard wash routine. So it's, I wash my beard normally. Once a week, maybe twice. And the conditioner, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try this using it every day or maybe every other day. But then I'm going to go try for the second week just using it once. I want to see 
it's gonna um, this this review is not gonna come out for at least two or three weeks. Probably, probably by what's it? We're right in the middle. Probably like the first week of March because I have to review another company before, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because they were the first there. They were they were first in line. I'm gonna do that company first, and we're gonna come back to this. So this will this is gonna sit for just just a, just a week. So just to clarify that to everybody here who's watching or who will watch it, I've heard nothing but amazing things about both of these. And I was told that my wife keeps using the conditioner in her hair. That's 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 a good statement. That's 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 good to to know. That's awesome. If a woman's using it in her hair, that should tell you something. Like I said. I don't have any. I, I will use this here very soon. I've heard nothing but you got to try this. You got to try this. These. So, a lot of people have told me you got to use these if you use anything else. So I'm going to put all this to the test. And I got, like I said, I only have the one butter. That's all I honestly for review. I only just wanted to get a couple cents. I appreciate you very much for sending me the other three, Gary. That means a lot. It really does. And I have a shirt coming on the way, and I know that that's from a third party, so that that will that'll get here. Okay, yeah, the the first impression of the look. I'm ste stepping back here. I like it. I do. I know. I did hear that. Uh, miss seeing you around, Scott. Super excited to come. It's been a while, man. I, I I needed I needed to take care of myself. I did. I, I've i talked about it a good bit. It's time for me to it's time for me to make a return. I'm not going to say I'm coming in full blown 100. percent I might I might not, but I'm I'm still here, guys. I'm still alive. That's the number one important thing. I got a phone. You guys know how to get a hold of me. I respond to everybody as much as I can. Let's get back to this here. This is what we're here for. We're here for this time with all of us here. We're talking about Alley Cat Beer Company. The presentation just stands out. I'm looking at I'm looking at the pat the whole thing right here. Let me, I can't pull my camera down. I'm looking at it right here, and I see it's branded very very well. I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> I don't want this to sound wrong. But I guess you could say if you're a if you're a serious beard product reviewer, I guess you could call yourself a critic. I guess you could. Kind of. I'm looking here. The presentation is awesome. You got you got that badass logo front and center. Have you looked closely at the back? Yeah, yeah. I I, I was looking at that, Corey. I see all the punk rock underlays in the back. It's really cool. Um, the branding just, it's like, here we are, roar, because because of Ruckus the Alley Cat. It's like, we're here. And as, 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 a, as a reference from an old Pantera song, it's like, we're taking over. You know, it, it's, it's, what, it's what I'm thinking of, even though it's metal, not punk rock. It's, it's loud. It's, Boom. And I know some people are OCD. You got the label and then you tilt it down and it's right there front and center. That is not a big deal to me. I, I don't really, it, I'm like, okay, it, that's, that's fine. Yeah. The, I know that Gary was looking to get bottles that had like an open spot. I got two fortune cookies. I got two of them. I did. I received two of them. Yeah, the 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 names have specific meanings. Like I said, Scumbag Joe, that's a barber shop like a uh, a scumbag is a haircut. I remember, I know that from my barber shop. Retro, I know that's from carried over 1981. That's the year of my birthday. Vanilla Ice is Van Winkle. Moon Stompers, I don't know where that reference is from, but Hooligan that's definitely a skater name. And there's another one which I didn't get and I should have gotten. And that was the the strawberry uh oud one. I should have gotten that one. 
that it was it was between that one and Hooligan because I love love a strawberry scent. There aren't very many on the on the market. That one I really wanted to get, but I I chose Hooligan instead. Rancid, all the okay, okay, all right. Thank you, Ron. Thanks. I'm not the biggest punk rock fan, so I didn't know that. Okay. Scumbag Joe's is a barbershop in Belgium. Oh, okay. Well, I know that uh, scumbag is a is a specific name for a haircut because I've I see it on at my where I get my haircut on on a poster. So I, I figured it was something of that nature. That's cool. That's really cool. Nice. And he supplies them in Belgium. That's badass. That is really cool. I got a little bit of everything on my hand, so it just all smells good all together. Mmm. That would be a different combination. A little bit of everything all in one. I don't even know what you'd even call that. <laughs> smells good, though. It does smell good. Everything all together. And I said it earlier, and I'm saying it again. This is the logo right here. This is the best-looking logo in the game. That just stands out 100%. I like it. I really like it. That's why the front of the bottle says a Belgian barbershop. Yeah, yeah, very, I figured that. Uh, I really wanted to get the, because I've seen the, the pictures of them. I like this logo of the Alley Cat. I like that. I'm hoping Gary brings out the launch shirt because I really want to actually, I really, <laughs> I want to start filming some music playing videos of me drumming and playing my guitar when Noah and I start playing together. And I wanted to wear the alley cat because I, that just is badass and it's two sided. I love having two sided shirts from any band or any wrestler or whatever. I've always liked two-sided shirts more than just a single print on the front. That's that's just me. Moon Stompers is a dance. Yeah, I kind of figured that too. But you're also stomping on apples. So. <laughs> so I'm hoping Gary brings back that launch shirt. I know I know from making band shirts in the day, two-sided shirts are more expensive to get made. I don't care about the price. I'll pay for it. I support Gary. I always have, whether we've had our ups and downs, I've always respected the guy. Sometimes I wanted to punch him in the face. I'm sure he's wanted to Ric Flair chop me across the chest a few times. But you know what? We've gotten past all that crap. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And I'm saying it live on camera. I respect the man. I love him. I, I love the fact that he has taken his the company he had before, which he made great products with. and. He succeeded with that, with them. And he's, and he, and he, I guess I, I will talk about it at his interview. I think he decided this isn't me. I want to do what I want to do. And he said, What is me? And Gary's always been a punk rocker guy, always has been since I've known him. And he said, That's what I want to do. And he made it into Alley Cat Beer Company. The name stands out. It's this right here says Gary Lewis to me right here. The other company, it was, but not as much. Just being honest, just saying. I'm sure he'll probably say the same thing. This is Gary Lewis right here. This is what I think he's always wanted to do and get to. First impression, I really am excited to try these. I really am. Not putting on a front I, ever since he's since he's launched. I just didn't have the money to spend 250 bucks to get the launch box. I wanted it. I really did want to get it. Kind of sucks, but it was Christmas time. Had to prioritize. But I'm glad I got the opportunity now. So this review is going to be out in about three weeks or sorry, three or four weeks because I got to do the other company first. But I wanted to put my first impressions out here before Gary gets in the hot seat so that I was familiar with his product. That way it wouldn't be, oh, I really couldn't say anything. So now I can honestly say, first impression, damn. Yeah. Really, really liking it so far. I really like it. 
surprised. I will let you guys know when I when I'm starting to use the products. Probably, like I said, give me about one. Definitely give me a week. But it's probably going to be about two weeks, week and a half or so, before I start using them. But uh, first impression, hell yeah. I don't have any discount codes. I'm not affiliated with Alley Cat. I'm pretty sure that Dancy Bearded has a code. I think it's probably Dancy 10 or something like that if you want to make a purchase. My first impression, without using the product, by scent alone and presentation, yeah, you need to give them a try. Spend the money. It's not expensive. If you want to take care of your beard, you're not you're not going to – you could cheap it out all you want. But if you want good quality shit, right here. Alley Cat's pretty good in my book already. All right, guys. It's 1245. I've been here for almost an hour. I don't want to keep you guys here all day on a Saturday. I want you guys to have a great Valentine's weekend with your significant others and your families. Gary, Walt. I will see you all in the hot seat this coming Thursday, 1957, you know, February 17th, 1957 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. We're going to have a good time. Keep on bearding, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.